So to see the urinary structure, we're going to have to remove and push aside the abdominal organs. Behind this, you normally see a membrane called the, retro, uh, called the peritoneum. The kidneys will be retroperitoneum, so it's behind this peritoneum. So right here we see the left kidney, and if I move everything aside, you can also see the right kidney. Okay, can you see that? All right, on the other side. Okay, then we have ureters coming down from the kidney. So in this example, this white tube coming on down would be the ureter coming from the right kidney. The other side, we have the same thing, but it's not as obvious because it's still buried in this peritoneum. But when I stretch a kidney like this, you can see a tube approximately right here. We kind of break the fat a little bit to have a better view. Huh. Oh, here we go. Sorry. The white tube is here. Okay, the white tube is here, and that's the ureter from the other side, okay, emptying the kidney. And the ureters will both go down to this structure right here, which is the bladder, okay. So coming on down, you can see if I do this, just kind of follow the ureter down, ureter down, it makes it like a U-turn a little bit, and it empties right here into the bladder. The other side, you have the same thing. The ureter is coming down, it empties into the bladder. So this is the urinary bladder right here. Let's open up the urinary bladder and you will see the folds just like we saw in the stomach. Those folds are called rugae, okay, rugae of the urinary bladder. And it's there for expansion. When the bladder is full, it allows for the, the bladder to stretch a little bit to hold even more urine. Now you should know that as we empty our bladder, it, the urine will go into a tube called the urethra. Okay, so here it is. Here's the bladder and here's the tube going down and we call that the urethra. Okay, coming down and out. Alright, so we're now in the general region of the urinary reproductive tract. And I remind you the kidneys up here. You see the blue renal vein coming to the kidneys. And if I move the renal vein aside a little bit, you will see a red structure. There you go. See the red structure? That would be the renal artery, okay, coming into the uh, kidneys. Okay. So anyway, we're coming down the ureter. Here's the ureter. Coming on down, it's going to empty into the bladder. And the bladder is held in place by some ligaments. We have lateral ligaments, okay, as you see, when I do this, you can see the stretching of the lateral ligament um, from the bladder to these fatty tissue. We also have a suspensory ligament that's right in the middle, and in this case, it has been cut a little bit, but you still see the remnants of it, okay. This I'm holding up would be the suspensory ligament for the bladder. The kidney um, coming down, empty the urines through the ureter into the bladder. The bladder has an area called the trigon. Okay, it's like a triangular area, approximately here, but it's inside the bladder. The trigon is comprised of three points, if you will. It's like this. Or actually, um, on your list, we have a word called the trigon of the bladder, and the trigon is a triangular area that is uh, uh, the corners of this triangle is comprised of the opening to the urethra and the openings to the ureter, okay? So inside the bladder, we have a low triangular area called the trigon, and each of the corners um, of the uh, triangle would be the two openings uh, from the ureter and the other opening from the urethra, okay? That's the trigon. Okay, because this is a male cat, we're gonna talk about male reproductive tract. Um, and uh, on your list, number 31, is the testes. Okay, so as you see here, can you see this? No? Okay. Yeah. Coming on down between the legs here, out by the tail, 
you see this round structure that would be the testes on the right side. The left side is still in the testicular sac, so it hasn't been pulled out yet. Um, now, in addition to just knowing the testes, you want to know epididymis. And the epididymis is a small region just right here. Okay, Very, very small region. It's like the head of the epididymis is here. It curves on the bottom. Uh, it kind of hangs onto the testes. Okay, And then it kind of goes on up. The epididymis would go on up. And it joins with this cord. Okay, This would be the spermatic cord. The spermatic cord is comprised of the vas deferens and the testicular blood vessels. Okay, so those three things make up the spermatic cord. The vas deferens and the testicular blood vessels, both arteries and veins. So all of this would be the spermatic cord that we have right here. The spermatic cord will come out of the, uh, the, the inguinal region and goes into the abdominal cavity and this would be the area right here. You can see, follow the cord on up, and it's going to dive into the uh, pelvic cavity at this point, and that would be the inguinal ring, or the inguinal canal, if you will. When it gets in here, you will see the splitting off, you can see here, you see the spermatic cord dividing into blood vessels and vas deferens. Can you see the structure right here? Very fine. This is the vas deferens. Okay, so it's kind of a, a whitish rope, string-like structure that goes in and then it goes, makes a U-turn, and it comes down to bring sperms to the uh, urethra, to the penis. Whereas the red and the blue structure, that would be the blood vessels. Okay, these would be the testicular arteries and veins, and that will come up this way. So the Spermatic cord actually split apart and become vas deferens distinctly, going in one direction, and the testicular blood vessels going to the other direction. Okay. All right. So now, we're, let's follow the the vas deferens. Vas deferens coming on down, and you see it's going to come down. It's going to kind of run. No, it's hard to see, but um, it, it, it's here, very close, intimately intertwined with the uh, ureter and it's going to come on down and it will actually follow up and eventually meet up with the urethra. Okay, so here's the bladder. This is the urethra. And if you see, this is a little fine white line here. Okay, that's the vas deferens. Vas deferens coming into the urethra. Okay. And this big bulge right here, you see, if you follow the urethra down, there's a bulge right about here. This is the prostate gland, okay, prostate gland. Going down further down the urethra, there is another round area, another gland right here. This would be the bulbal urethral gland. Everything from this point on outward would be the penis. So all of this is the penis um, region, and of course the urethra will go right through the penis and out to the outside. And that will complete the anatomy of the male reproductive system.